The way people rebound differs depending on their attachment style. And in this video, I want to explain the danger it represents if your ex is anxious, preoccupied, what it will mean to your ex rebounding with someone and the danger it represents to the future of your relationship because the way they rebound, the way they perceive this new relationship will be very different than people who are avoidant or people who are secure. So it's very important for you to understand the different sort of psychological mechanism and if you want to get back together, the things you need to tell them, the things you need to do if they are starting to date someone. I get my ex back .com. Everyone deserves a second chance. So first of all, let's explain, let's describe how it feels for them uh, to experience this breakup. Usually anxious people are massively hurt. They are very in tune with their emotions. Sometimes we mention that they are driven by emotions, whereas like avoidant, they are struggling to understand their emotions. Um, and so usually they are very disappointed at how uh, things work. There's always this idea that they give more than they receive. And when the relationship doesn't work out, they are very disappointed. And another element that is very typical of anxious people is that it's very hard for them to be alone. They need someone in their life to share their emotions, to connect, to spend time with them, to discuss and to feel part of a bond. And that's why breakups are very difficult for anxious people because it's also difficult to adapt being single. And it's very important because, um, for example, a lot of my clients are anxious and we work together at being okay to be single and breaking some sort of codependency dynamic that people have when they have an anxious attachment style and realizing that, yes, love is important, building a relationship is important, but being happy, being fulfilled can also be done on your own. Um, the way I see it is like relationship is the cherry on the cake. It's not the whole thing. It's just a bonus. So it's really about developing a strong, secure attachment style before connecting with someone. And that's why anxious people, because of their hurt, because of the disappointment, because of their um, fear of being alone, they will bounce back to a new relationship. And it's very often that anxious people rebound with someone. And to give you a few reasons why people who have an anxious attachment style will rebound very quickly, is that they need, it's very important the word, they need someone to help them deal with the pain, right? Deal with the loss. They are filling the gap with someone. Also the importance of feeling loved, it's something that they value a lot. Maybe one of their most important uh, things that they have in life is to feel that they are loved. Um, and so the first person who will give them that attention will end up with them. So sometimes there will be very different people, the opposite of who you are, sometimes exactly the same. What matters is that they care. What matters is that they are listening to them. What matters is that they want to spend time with you and sometimes the reason the difficulty for anxious people is to feel that the partner they had, the, the person they were dating is rejecting the connection, is rejecting the intimacy. And again, it could work as well. The same dynamic applies if they took the decision. But now they are with someone who cares. And it's very different. It offers a very different dynamic. And that's why who this person is, their traits, their personality doesn't really matter as much, which is very good for you. However, there's still a risk for you. As you know, and if you don't know, most rebound relationships fail. But the danger is not that they will end up together. The danger is that this relationship will make your partner feel loved, feel understood, feel listened. And by having this relationship, by creating a new connection with someone, they'll slowly detach from what you had, right? Because they'll feel respected, they'll feel loved. And the prospect of starting another relationship that will be labeled as negative, that will be labeled as hurtful, won't be necessarily what they're after. So it's very important to understand the risk here is that even though this person might not be the one, they might not end up together for the rest of their lives, that creates 
a comparison, a contrast between what they had, the pain of the breakup. So how do you get back together? First of all, if your ex is dating someone, if you want to break this relationship, it's counterproductive. Sometimes we have this urge to break this relationship, to uh, sort of show our ex that they're making a mistake. By doing that, you're making it worse. So the thing is, when your ex reach out, you need to show them finally that you can meet their needs, that you are more in tune with your emotions, because perhaps that was the clash in the breakup, that was the clash in the relationship. The fact that they were anxious and you couldn't necessarily understand how to meet their needs, understand how you could listen to them, how you could be more empathetic. And so that's the job you have to do right now, is making sure that you understand their triggers, that you understand how you can listen and make them feel understood, to validate their emotions rather than dismissing them, or rather than not listening to them or finding solutions for them. In a way, it's about showing that you care. A lot of people who are anxious um, after a breakup day or throughout the relationship, the first complaint is that they don't care. They are not willing to invest. They are not willing to spend time with me, to discuss with me, to know more about me, to learn me at a deeper level. Um, so it's very important for you to understand those things. Because when this relationship will fail, when this rebound relationship will fail, you have to show that you can connect at the same level as your partner. From a more of a, an emotional uh, point of view, an emotional response, rather than being very rigid, very um, sort of uh, objective and rational. That's not what they want. You have to use their language. Um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a love languages, but it's also the same uh, when it comes to attachment theory. You also have to match your language, your words, but also your actions to what your partner wants. And so the process will always be the same. The relationship will fail and they will start comparing. They will start also to feel the need to reconnect because again, the same way, it was hard for them to deal with the breakup, with deal with the loss. They will have a hard time dealing with the loss of this relationship. But the problem is that they would be scared to suffer again, the same way they suffered during the first breakup. So very often, anxious people will come across as super keen to connect, very open-minded, very open to rekindling the relationship. But in the background, unconsciously, they will have this fear of being rejected again, being this fear of like not being understood. So it's in, very important at this stage, if you want to reconnect with someone who has an anxious attachment style, to show them what you've learned, to talk, you know, talk to them about attachment style, for example, and help them understand, like, I understand why you, you acted this way. I understand why you wanted more time with me. I understand why it was hard for you to deal with, I don't know, maybe, if you wanted to get some space or go somewhere and it was hard for your partner. There may be other sort of events in the relationships where you felt you triggered and you got what we would call protest behaviors that perhaps created the conditions for you guys to break up. So the idea is to really connect, communicate, express what you've learned. It's not about being apologetic. It's not about blaming neither yourself or them. It's just about having a mature conversation of what you've learned about the adjustment style, what you've learned about them, what you've learned about you, and how you can communicate and start on new grounds, start on new foundations that would be more respectful and more secure. If you want more help on this, let me know there's a link to book a call with me, a discovery call, if you want some help on and guidance on how to navigate those um, post rebound relationships. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye bye. for a long time. Get up. Now I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball. I'm a really big hitter. Big picture. I'm a straight killer.